The Cleveland Browns will defeat the 49ers, 35 to 30. It's going to be a high scoring game. I'm looking for Cleveland to pull it out late in the fourth quarter. So they're going to throw a late touchdown and that's going to put them up for good. It's going to be a great game, no doubt about that. You've got Jimmy G versus Baker Mayfield. Both quarterbacks, as we know, can fling the ball. So they'll be throwing it all over both defenses. Like I said, it'll be a great game, but in the end, I've got Cleveland coming out on top. Look for Nick Chubb to have a big game as well. So he's probably gonna have 130 yards rushing. Odell Beckham Jr. is gonna have 100 yards receiving. It's just gonna be good. It's gonna be great for the Browns. So they're gonna get another win, and this will just propel them towards winning more games and making it to the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying the 49ers are a bad team because they are a good team, but I'm giving Cleveland the slight edge because they have to prove their doubters wrong. A lot of people think that the Browns are overrated. I'm not one of those people. I believe that the Browns are a good team. Do they talk a little bit too much trash? I believe they do. Are they a little too cocky at times? Yes, they are. But they've got a nice roster. They've got two dynamic receivers in OBJ and Landry. They've got Njoku. I know he's out right now, but when he gets back, he's another receiving threat. They got two stud running backs in Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. So they are loaded offensively. And then on defense, they've got Miles Garrett. So they have a nice roster. And they've got a lot of these players playing tonight. Miles Garrett, he's suiting up tonight. And he's going to be rushing Jimmy G. I see Garoppolo running, trying to escape whenever he's trying to throw pretty much the whole game. Now, Garoppolo and the 49ers offense, like I said, they're good enough to score points and they're going to throw tons of, uh, they're going to throw for a lot of yards against that Cleveland Browns defense for sure. There's no doubt about that. But like I said, in the end, I just think that Baker Mayfield will find a way to throw a late touchdown in the fourth quarter and that'll be the deciding factor in the game. That's what I believe will happen. And like I said, Cleveland, they've got to win this game. They've got to prove to people that they can beat quality teams. Now, they did beat the Ravens last week, so that was good on their part. So by beating the Ravens, they have demonstrated that they can beat a quality team. Now, they've got to do it again this Monday night against the Niners. And I believe they will. So I've got the Browns winning 35 to 30. It'll be a great game. I look forward to watching it. It's going to look like an arena football league game because both teams are going to be trading points. The ball will be up in the air a lot. Look for these receivers on both sides to make great plays. The 49ers have got some great wide right receivers too. Not as talented as the Browns wide right receivers, but they've got Great wide receivers in their own right, and they've got that tight end as well. Kittle is his name. So Kittle will have a great game against the Browns, but it's not going to be enough. They do also have a nice running attack. I'm referring about to the Niners. So they've got some running backs who can run. So like I said, they'll, they'll cause some problems for the Browns, but in the end, I've got the Browns coming out on top. I want to hear from you all out there, though. Who do you think will win tonight's game? If you agree with me that it'll be the Browns, you can let me know. If you disagree and think it'll be the Niners, you can share that with me as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you'll be getting more content from me in the future. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.